Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a little um, project share here for you. Um, I've been watching a few videos uh, from Kathy at uh, Kathy's Creatives Crafts and More. Uh, she was Castle Creates and Tree from Craft On. And they've been playing with these fun little um, Craftspire a wax stamp seals and they look like so much fun that I totally wanted to give it a try and um, so I put an order in from Craspire but I don't have it yet and it said it was like gonna be 10 to 14 days well while I was watching some more videos because um, Susie Susan Tootsie Tucker was playing with them too and a few others and I noticed that they were having to wait for the um, little pieces to melt um, for a while and I thought well it would probably actually be nice to have two of the little melter things so this is the little you put a little tea light candle and then you put your little holder on top of it and then you have your little wax holder for the wax melting pieces um, you put that on top and then you put the little wax pieces in there and then they melt them and you use a metal seal or you use a yeah metal stamp and it melts the pieces, or it stamps the pretty image in uh, after your pieces have been melted. So you do that, you grab out, I, I use four, four is about perfect for a seal. And so while those are melting, I'll show you some of this stuff. I had used wax seals before, but the kind I had used, and I wasn't too hip on it, um, I use these. And what you do with these is, these are a wax stick that you light. Uh, you light the end of the wick, and then you let it drip and melt onto your project. Um, and then you use your metal stamp to um, you use your metal stamp to make your impression and for your seal. But this, when you light it and everything, and you're waiting for it to melt, the carbon gets into the wax and makes it look janky. So I wasn't excited with the way this one turned out. So I never played around with it anymore because it wasn't very pretty. I didn't think it was too pretty because the black makes it look a little sooty and janky. So I left it there. And then when I saw Kathy doing it and then Tree uh, from Craspire and that they had these little wax pieces, I was intrigued again. Well, me not being very patient, um, I went ahead and I ordered a second one of the melters and this stuff off of Amazon because um, I knew I would use two melters so I could just keep going, you know, and different colors and that sort of thing. Um, and so what I've done was, well, the so then what I ran into was all the seals that I ordered are from Craspire and they're not here yet. So I only had the one. And when I was playing around, testing it out and stuff, they're all a J. So unless I'm sealing it, you know, like I use, I was using it for my Christmas cards, you know, to put the seal on the back of the envelope and stuff. And how fun is that? Um, you know, there's not really, you're not going to use that really necessarily for an embellishment or anything. So I thought, well, what could you use? Does it have to be a metal stamp or could you use other things? And so what I tested out were some fun, um, I tested out photopolymer stamps. And I tested out um, some rubber stamps to see if you could use those. And they worked. It actually worked. So this was done creating using a photopolymer stamp. Um, one of the clear stamps. And this one right here was used. The thank you was used um, made with a rubber stamp. And it works beautifully. It works so stinking nice. And so what I've been doing is this little, um, oh, what is this? Uh, Anti-skid mat from Stampin' Up. I forget what the name of these are. Um, it's just a, it, it's a like a rubbery anti-slide. Oh, what is this called? If the name comes to me, I'll tell you. But this one's from Stampin' Up. Um. But anyways, I've been pouring the wax onto here and pressing the um, stamps right into it. So I was going to show you. And it didn't ruin the rubber stamps or the 
a photopolymer stamps at all. And look at that. Look at all the detail. Wait, can you see? Look at the detail in the flower. That was used, and there was just a slight impression on the rubber stamp. This was with the rubber stamp. Just a slight impression. And it got all that detail on there. I was just testing out, like, ones that I don't use all the time, just in case I ruined them. And it was fine. It, I, I didn't have, now, you know, user beware, obviously, but, because that's not how the stamps are intended, and this is hot stuff. But when I did it, I didn't have any problems. So, I was going to show you, and... This was a stamp off of um, a block, and when it was on the block, I didn't have really good results with that. Um, I The stamp didn't want to come off, so I would recommend um, ones that don't have to have a block. Like these are... Um, uh, so they're like, they're like... Let's see, let's get the one we're going to use. Let's do this like... Um, Ooh, let's do the little flowers. Let's do this here. So they don't, you know, they just have the little foam pad, but they don't have, um, they don't have a wood block on them, basically. They're not solid, so you can bend them, you can mold them, and, like, peel them out of the wax. So here, I was just going to show you really quick, uh, what it looked like, uh, with both, like how it did. So here, let's see if we can, so I just do this. So once it's melted, I just pour it out. And we'll stick with the same color so I don't have to clean it out. And then um, Kathy just used paper towels to wipe them out. And that's what I did. And it works great. Um, maybe we'll do a different pink. We'll try this. And these little sets, if you wanted to get a multiple set, I think they actually had a whole kit for 32 on Crossfire. So four pieces. Four, these are like little the little wax pieces. And I just put them back in there. Um, I like this one because you can pick the melter up and, oh, and so then, whoops, <laughs> so then you just press it in and then let it cool and it'll have that impression in there and then you just kind of peel it off. So let's do another one of these. Let's do uh, this rubber. Oh, let's do this little flower. But I just thought, oh my gosh, wax seals and like a bazillion stamps wow you could do tons <laughs> it opens up so many possibilities and it is a hoot um you can get so much um use out of your stamps now like making these different type of embellishments and stuff so and they're fun and they come in so many different pretty colors like this is a blue all blue this was a pink and yellow one which i thought came out really fun I was trying to do like a candy cane, but it didn't work out too good. And so that's a white and a red one. And then this was four colors. This was gold, white, pink, and like a turquoise. Come on. There we go. And um, yeah, it seems like one color or two of the same uh, lightness. So whether they're both you know, a medium color, a light color, or a dark color, it seemed like worked the best to see the actual impression that's on there. Is what, is what it seemed like to me, but... Okay, so let's do... We'll do one more. Because uh, my little buddy's going to wake up here in a little bit. Um, my new... Oh, yeah, and my my new little crafting buddy, his name is Buddy. <laughs> I we, we were trying all different names on him and everything else, and we just kept calling him, Come here, little buddy. Here, little buddy. Um, so we were like, why don't we just name him Buddy? That's what he is coming to. So we named him Buddy. <laughs> so he literally is my crafting buddy. <laughs> he is fun. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen it, I uploaded a tiny video of him and he is adorable. Oh my goodness. He is so fun. So I'll probably be a little preoccupied for a few weeks here until he gets big enough and start sleeping a ton and I'll... Or you know what I mean, like getting regular routine and all that stuff. But right now he's like every hour <laughs> having to pay attention to him and stuff. <laughs> Only because I don't want him to pee everywhere and I don't want that smell in my house. <laughs> so let's see. Um, oh, this looks good. Okay, so this is all melted. Oh, and that was one color of pink was multiple colors. Oh, probably because of the other color of pink that was in there. 
So this will be a little photopolymer one. And if this video ends up being really um um uh, what do you say um ends up being a little helter skelter like all over the place it's really sorry about being all over the map <laughs> um it's just primarily because i'm trying to hurry and <laughs> um he when he wakes up when buddy wakes up he gets he is so loud he and it will not stop barking for anything so it's like ah so I'm just going to do these two, it's, so it's really quick. wanted just to show you that um, you can use other things besides the metal ones um, to create images and stuff. And I would test the waters first with some old stamps that um, I just, this was coming off of the wood block anyway, so I just finished pulling it off and that sort of thing. So if you have any old stamps, I would try those first. And then, oh, see, there you go. That's one. And look, see the impression in there, all the flowers? How fun, right? Here, and where's that stamp at? And that was it. Isn't that cool? And then they have pens that you could color, but I ordered those and they're not here. They're Craftspire pens. So um, I have to wait for those. But yeah, so then I could go and I could color, I could color all that in. Isn't that going to be so fun? I can't wait to get those. And now I don't know if that's... Oh, that feels pretty good. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that one. Look at that whole impression. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, how fun is that? And then here is what the stamp looks like. Perfectly fine. It didn't hurt it a bit. It, neither one of them. They come out clean. I will say that you'll want to make sure that it has cooled enough. Otherwise, the wax does try to come off with the stamp. So just be sure to make sure they're cooled enough. But how fun, right? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyways, wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you're doing good. We'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.